Hello. Hi. It's me. <laughs> Let's pretend it's Sunday. The reality of it is that editing three hours of footage into something understandable is hard. Doing scripts and voiceover is also hard. I'm doing my best, best and that's all I can do. Anyway, today I'll be sharing a kind of tutorial on how to make these crocheted fingerless gloves in the shape of paws. And I want to start by saying this is a reproduction of this video. I will link it down below. My focus is not so much on the whole pattern, but instead on the small details that I personally found kind of difficult to understand and get a grasp on. So if you need more visual aid, I highly recommend checking out their original video. I simply want to contribute to maybe making this pattern a bit more accessible to everyone. For materials, you'll need yarn in two colors. Uh, two skeins should be enough for your main color, and then you need less than half a skein for the embellishments. Uh, for sizing, I have big hands, and I used a pretty thick yarn when I made mine. They are also the third pair I've made because they kept turning out too small. So if you have smaller hands, consider using a thinner yarn, and you can also change your hook size to help with the sizing, either using a bigger hook for bigger gloves or a smaller hook for smaller gloves. Um, I used a four millimeter hook. Uh, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and having a couple of stitch markers is also really helpful. Now on to the pattern on round one. Now this is a personal preference, but I usually go into the single loop on the back of the chain when making my first row. I just feel like it turns out neater. Uh, put one single crochet into each chain until you only have one left. This should total 13 single crochets. Into that last chain, you make three single crochets. And now we're doing a U-turn and going back down on the other side of the chain. Make 13 single crochets. And when you get to the end, chain one and turn. Uh, the chain one and turn is something you'll do every time you end a round. So just remember that. On round one through six, you will always make 13 single crochets before and after you, the increase portion at the top. So I find it really helpful to put a stitch marker into the 13th stitch on both sides so that I don't have to keep count. It also helps sort of save your progress in case you make a mistake and have to undo some of it. Uh, moving on to round two, uh, 13 single crochets to get to the top where we're doing our increase. make three single crochet increases. An increase is usually defined as making two crochets into the same stitch. So after you've done this three times, crochet another 13 single crochets and chain one and turn. I will not mention the 13 single crochets or the chain one for the remaining rounds. I'm just gonna assume you'll remember to do them.
For round three, the increase is as follows. One single crochet and one single crochet increase. Repeat this three times. And the increase is always repeated three times. For round four, you repeat one single crochet, one single crochet increase, and then another single crochet. This is also three times. Round five is the pattern of three single crochet followed by one single crochet increase. For round six, this is the last round we're doing the increases. On this round, you do two single crochet, one single crochet increase, and two single crochets. Then for the last three rounds, the pattern changes a bit. So for round seven, start with 10 single crochet to half double crochet, and then repeat the following sequence four times, three double crochet and one double crochet increase. When you've done that four times, you should finish with three double crochets, two half double crochets and 11 single crochets. For round eight, now we're gonna start forming the fingers for the gloves. Starting from the side of the thumb, make 11 single crochet, 
one half double crochet and then skip one stitch and make five double crochets into the same stitch. Next, skip another stitch and make two single crochets. From here, repeat the next sequence three times, skip a stitch, five double crochets into the same stitch, skip a stitch, one single crochet. And repeat this one more time after that, except replace the last single crochet with a half double crochet instead, and then finish with 15 single crochet. For your gloves, you're going to need a total of four pieces. You're going to need two pieces that end here at round eight. So chain one and cut. And after that, make the other two pieces, including the ninth round that I'll be showing next. For round nine, start with 17 single crochet, then repeat the following sequence three times. Three double crochet increases, three single crochet. After that, make another three double crochet increases and follow that with four single crochets. That is between the pointer and the thumb, so we need that little bit of extra space. And then finish the thumb with another three double crochet increases and 13 single crochet. Chain one and cut your yarn. Now you should have your four pieces to make the gloves, but before we put them together, we're going to make the toe beans and the pop hats. You'll need 10 toe beans and two pop hats. And these are fairly simple, so I'm just gonna run through the crochet sequence, read the instructions below. Uh, for the toe beans, make a magic ring, crochet 10 single crochet into that ring, pull it tight, and then slip stitch into the first stitch. Cut the yarn and leave a slightly longer tail as you'll be using that to attach the piece to the glove.
And then for the paw pad, start with a magic ring here as well. Make one single crochet into the ring to secure it and chain two. Next, make three triple crochets, three double crochets and chain one. Make another triple crochet and then chain one, three double crochet and three triple crochet. Chain three and slip stitch into the magic ring. Now we're going to be adding uh, a round of single crochet to help shape the pop pad. So make three single crochet into the chains you made at the start. Make three single crochet increases followed by three single crochet. Chain one and one single crochet. You should be at the bottom peak now. And then go back up with chain one, three single crochet, three single crochet increases and two single crochet followed by a slip stitch into the last stitch. Cut the yarn and leave a longer tail because you'll be using this to attach the piece to the glove. Now it's time to attach your embellishments to your gloves. And this next thing is really, really important. You'll be attaching these pieces to the bigger glove piece. So the one that includes round one through nine and make sure, 
Make really, really sure that you mirror your pieces so that you don't end up with two left gloves in the end, or rather two gloves, but the pop hats end up on the outside of the other one. So just put them down in front of you and make sure like either the pinkies or the thumbs are facing each other and then put your little pop hat pieces on top so you just know for sure that you'll be having two different gloves at the end. Can, can you tell I made this mistake more than once myself? <laughs> Using a darning needle, sew the pieces to the glove. I use the grouping of the five double crochets as a guide for my toe beans. And then I just use the U shape in the center of the glove to uh, uh, place my paw pad. Uh, I use the loops on the back of the pieces for easy attachment. And I try to fasten the thread slightly underneath the piece so that it doesn't stick out too much. To fasten the thread at the end, I just run the needle right through the embellishment and cut on the other side. Now we're going to crochet our pieces together. Uh, the piece with the toe beans is the inner piece and the smaller piece is the outer piece. So start by sandwiching your pieces together and holding them together with the 
inner piece facing you. Um, I use stitch markers to make sure I don't miss stitches when I crochet my piece together. Uh, with the inner piece facing you, put your crochet hook through the first stitch of both pieces. Make a slip knot, grab it with your hook, and pull through both pieces. Now flip your work so that the outer piece is facing you, and make a single crochet into the first stitch on the outer piece. Make sure it's the first stitch. Uh, and when you've done that, you've made your first journey crochet. So, again, Pull up a loop and remove your hook. Flip your work over so that the inside is facing you. Put the hook through the second stitch. Grab the loop and pull through. Flip your work over so that the outside piece is facing you. And make a single crochet into the second stitch on the outer piece. So that's how you make the joining crochet. Um, and here's another important note on this. Because your gloves are mirrored, you're going to do these, the attachment in the reverse order for your second glove. So if you started on the thumb side for your first, you're going to be doing it from the pinky side on your second glove. Uh, I'll be talking through the thumb version. So I'm, I'm starting on the side of the thumb, but it's all the same stitches. It's just that for the second glove or for my second glove, it's in reverse order. Uh, make 12 joining single crochet, including those first two I walked you through. And after the last one, make a single crochet into the outer piece. Follow that up with three double crochet increases and one single crochet. Now you're going to join the two pieces with two joining single crochet. So just like you did up the side, pull up a loop and remove your hook. Flip your work so that the inside piece is facing you. Put your hook through the second single crochet between the thumb and pointer. Grab and pull the loop through, flip your work back to the outside piece, and make a single crochet into the next available stitch. Do this one more time. And then repeat the following sequence. One single crochet, three double crochet increases, and one single crochet before making another joining single crochet between the next pair of fingers. Please note that between the rest of the fingers, you're only making one joining single crochet uh, because those first two are between the thumb and the pointer in this case. Uh, I like to use stitch markers, as I said before, to keep me from making mistakes, so I made sure all my stitches were lined up with those. And after you've finished your last finger, you just make 17 joining single crochets down that side. But don't cut your yarn here because now we're going to make the cuff. Uh, so to make the cuff, start by crocheting 36 single crochet along the bottom of your glove. This makes out to about one single crochet into each row. Uh, when you made your way around, slip stitch into the first single crochet. You can make your cuff however long you want. I chained 10 and one of these counts as a turning chain. So into the chain, I crocheted nine single crochets.
When you reach the base, skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the following two stitches. And then you turn your work over and it's time to create the ribbing. Uh, you're going to crochet into the back loops of your stitches. So make nine back loops, single crochets, chain one, and then turn your work again. And then you just repeat this up and down until you make your way all the way around the glove. And to join your first and last row, just single crochet through the back loops of both sides. So you grab the back loop of your starting row and the back loop of your last row and make a single crochet to join them. So once you've made your last stitch, chain one to secure and cut your yarn. Uh, weave in any ends you have left over and your glove is complete. Don't forget to finish the second one as well so you'll have a pair. This is probably the first tutorial video I've done in a very, very long time and I forgot how taxing they are. Um, maybe I should have started with something more simple. I never learn. I have to do the difficult things first. Um, but anyway, as I said, this video is based on another tutorial that already exists here on YouTube. If you need more visual aid, please check that one out. It's linked down below. Thank you so much for your patience for checking out the video and if you're new here feel free to subscribe. I try to post a new video every week, hard emphasis on try, <laughs> and I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!